What's up guys? I'm Sean. I just want to welcome you all to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff on here. If you've already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below. You can get a lot of updates on the things we're going to be doing this year. We're going to be doing some pretty crazy stuff with this here Corvette. We're going to call her, I don't know. Y'all tell me what I should call this car. I'm thinking like the silver bullet, but that's really textbook. I don't know. I kind of want something different. This is my Corvette. It's not what you think it is. It's actually got a lot of goodies under here, including some ratchet straps, because right now we're almost done, but it's actually got a four link. It's got a Fab 9 straight axle in the back. It's pretty crazy. This is still a stick shift car, so it has a face plated T56 from Tick Performance. The trans is going up front. We, we don't have a motor in it right now. We're gonna be getting the motor here pretty soon. It's gonna be coming from Modern Airflow Dynamic. You see the turbo brace and everything. Thing. the radiator fans have been laid over to make lots of room uh, up here for a lot of extracurricular activities like big ass turbos and whatnot gonna be running an s491 104 from Jose at force inductions this year goal is probably like 15 1600 something like that like full tilt just gonna walk y'all around got the Luma stars in the front got these sweet champion bead locks out the back Got the Moser drag brakes. Those are nice and fresh. Got the Fab 9, the 4 link. Got a lot of goodies on the inside of this thing. People that I use a lot, Motion Raceworks. I love Motion Raceworks. They make really, really nifty products that really solve small problems that everybody needs solving. So they make these little bottle brackets. This is for my CO2 uh, canister that controls my boost and everything that actually controls the CO2 controls this as well This is uh, the parachute cable that connects from the inside of the car uh, out back to the parachute This is a CO2 operated parachute lever so this is actually a, a CO2 cylinder right there. You have these solenoids up right here Whenever you hit a button say you got your button on your steering wheel whenever you hit that button it puts air through this little cylinder and pops the chute. So you don't have to be worrying about grabbing a chute handle whenever you're going down track and going like 200 miles an hour. The last thing I want to do is take a hand off the wheel. So check out Motion Race Works. They got some pretty cool stuff and uh, definitely helps people like me. Other things, I've got a set of headers just sitting in my seat. I know that's not where those go, but right now it's kind of where they're at. Let's see if we can open this thing up. Gotta open it up from the inside because the battery is disconnected right now. The next thing we have to do to get everything lined out, uh, I'm gonna clean up this wiring obviously. Clearance this hole, this hole is actually offset. See if you can tell, this is the center of the car right here. The hole is kind of offset. So we're gonna open this hole up to in the center because the trans is gonna be in the front of the car now. So we're gonna have the shifter coming out like pretty much right here in the center. Got my, uh, Got my boost gauge right here. This is pretty much anything from all my temperatures and all that kind of stuff. But this year, I'm going to be putting a Holly Dominator and probably going to be putting the Holly Pro Dash up here. So it'll be a big digital screen right there, which would be pretty sweet. Yeah. That's some other turbos. Those turbos don't even go in this car. I've got another car. We're going to throw. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let me go get my keys. I'll be right back. We're back. Got my handy dandy Corvette keys. Got to get around this parachute. What the hell? That ain't good. Oops. This is a S371. I've got two of these. These are going on another car. Y'all are gonna get to check that out on this channel too. But yeah, I got a lot of go fast parts in the back. You can see a whole bunch of piping and turbo stuff and it's kind of a mess right now, but we have a lot going on trying to get this thing finished up. It just got finished up here at Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems. He put the four link uh, and the Fab 9 and everything. He custom did all the bracketry and everything on the back of the, the housing and all the four link bracketry that he put in the car. He did all that over here at Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems. Man, he's really good at what he's done. He's never done this before. We were just like, screw it, man. We're gonna take a perfectly good Corvette. I sold everything that made the car move and I took a cutting wheel and just started cutting at everything in the car. I was like, man, you know what? I don't like the way this thing works. I don't like how it's designed. I want it to be designed like a drag car is supposed to be, and that's with a straight axle. So that's what we did. Got rid of the IRS, so no more IRS problems. Everybody hates IRS problems. I'll tell y'all a little bit about Next Shift. Next Shift is a company that I created, a product that I made uh, based around manual transmission. It's actually on the car over here. This right here is my invention. I invented this. It is a trans brake for a manual transmission whenever you're at the drag strip or in Mexico, wherever you might be, you can set clutch engagement on a button, wherever your button might be, might be on the steering wheel, your shifter, wherever you would like it. You set clutch engagement on a button 
button, keep the car in first gear, let your foot off the clutch, and now you don't have to worry about the clutch or again until it's time to shift to the next gear. Pull up to the light and you use your foot brake to bump in. Whenever you get there, you hold your foot brake down, raise your car to your desired RPM, boom, let off the button and it's go time. Don't have to worry about slipping the clutch, it does it all for you. I got another one right here. But yeah, this is basically kind of what you get whenever you uh, buy the man's brake. Uh, it has a couple solenoids on the bottom. You get these nice weather pack plug and play connectors. Got the nice loom and the heat shrink and everything on the ends of them. You can mount this anywhere on your firewall. So it has through and through holes right there. Uh, it's labeled very simple. It's in and out. So your lines coming from your master cylinder by the clutch go in here. Your line going out comes from here and goes down to the slave cylinder. These are regular eighth inch MPT threads. You can buy an adapter pretty much anywhere from any parts store. It comes with these. These are just some Dash 3 90 to 8 inch MPT fittings. And I just got these custom brake lines made at my local shop around town for my custom length of wherever I wanted to mount it. So if you wanted to mount it up here, you could just have your lines made that long to run back to wherever you needed them to. And it wouldn't be that hard. So that is what Next Shift started as. I want it to be much more than that. I want to grow the Next Shift channel here on YouTube. I want to do a lot for the people, show everybody you know, how to go fast and just have fun while doing it, man. This is my passion. If you do what you love, you never have to work a day in your life. So that's what I'm doing here today. I'd appreciate it if y'all give me a like, subscribe to this video, and I promise you there will be much more content in the future because I'm always doing wild off the wall bleep. Gonna be taking this baby right here to the sevens this year, and you can believe that, I promise. Without further ado, I will see y'all next time. Man, I really appreciate every one of y'all getting me going. Man, this is a dream come true. By the way, guys, if you like these tees, these tees right here, these are the next shift tees. You can go to my website, click the link below. You can get your own tee anywhere in the US really a nice material they say just gonna shift it on the back because uh, that's our style man we're just gonna shift it we're six speed guys over here so we're trying to make manuals great again if y'all like these tees please go get you one or if you want a man's brake for your own stick shift car you can go get that too so it's gonna be a hell of a year and a hell of a ride until next time see y'all later